Hey everybody, I'm here with Joey from Helium. Joey, tell us about Helium. Yeah, so Helium is a people-built collection of wireless net. Well, it's a protocol that enables wireless networks to be built, first of all. Uh, the first network that we built is a global network of LoRaWAN gateways, uh, and it's actually the largest public access LoRaWAN network in the world. Uh, and so, of course, LoRaWAN enables the connectivity for all sorts of sensors, whether it's asset tracking or industrial sensors or, you know, home, air particulate, all of those sort of fun things. Uh, those can all be enabled by this protocol, and they can all sit on top of Helium as that yeah, connectivity back layer. And what brings you guys to Sensors Converge? Yeah, so we love getting out here and telling people what they can do with networks like this. So we're actually really new to the scene. Helium only has existed for the last three or four years. Uh, so a lot of people haven't heard about it. Maybe they haven't heard about LoRaWAN. So we're out here advocating on the existence of the network, first of all, uh, and then trying to give people a sense for the sorts of things that they can do showcasing some of the success that we've seen and uh, help those people sort of take the first step in jumping in. Okay, now uh, this might be a dumb question, but am I wrong or there's a blockchain tie-in, right? Yeah, so how do you build the biggest network in the world like this? Uh, and so the experiment, the, the grand idea in the early stages was how do we take this you know, hardware that is now coming down in price? If you imagine existing telco, you big towers and all of that stuff, We've come down to the point where somebody can buy one of these gateways and set it up in their home. But now how do you coordinate all of that activity? And so what the original team discovered is that if they tie an incentive mechanism to it, they can tie in certain rules. They can build a network that actually has sort of this model for deployment and ongoing coverage and all of that tied into the sort of key principles of that network. And so at the base level, Every, uh, every gateway operator is incentivized through this token to deploy their gateway, and then all of the data transfer and all of that is settled with this mechanism. And that's really the core of what makes this scale work. One dumb question leads to another. Is there a Helium token? There is, yeah. Is that what it's called, Helium? It's called the Helium Network Token. Oh, yeah. okay. And so that's that's our parent token. And then underneath it, we have multiple sub-network tokens yeah. that sort of all tie in under that umbrella. Um, but the Helium Network token was was the original. So uh, blockchain is this like famously difficult uh, technology. Talk about like, give, give me an example of uh, one, pick any one, like really difficult technological principle or, or problem that you guys had to solve to make this possible. Boy, that's a better question than you realize. Uh, so early on, the Helium team actually built their own blockchain, entirely bespoke for the support of IoT networks uh, with LoRaWAN. Um, and it had many challenges. Uh, as one might imagine, a, there were multiple people who spent all of their time trying to make sure that this thing was online and operational and that data transfer and all of that wasn't interrupted. Um, and then about a year ago, we actually migrated off of that blockchain and onto a another sort of well-known token that's called Solana. Um, and so we leverage that for all of our blockchain parts now and we've taken what was previously a really complicated story and we've distilled that down to effectively two people manage that entire yeah. part of the ecosystem for us. Um, yeah. And so it took a long time for us to discover the right blockchain. It was some work for us to do that migration, but now that we've done it, the overhead on that part is significantly lowered. It's fascinating. Joey, thank you for being on the show. Yeah, thanks so much for having me.